horror movies have had a wonderful resurgence in recent years. From IT Chapter 1 showing audiences that horror can appeal to the masses, to developing art house darlings getting fully realised in Mandy. We've had a solid rise of the spooky that only gets better as it goes on. And 2018 has continued that trend in outstanding fashion. Decapitated heads, possessed puppets and gloomy anthologies included. All the good stuff. Whether it's brooding indie fare or big brash releases, we've been spoilt for choice when it comes to the blood and guts over the past 12 months. But only 10 can make it to the top, and only one can be hailed as king. So get your soundproof in Sandown and cancel that dance school scholarship, as I'm Ash from What Culture, and these are the 10 best horror movies of 2018. It's not like you wanted to sleep tonight, anyway. 10. Possum. A gloomy, oppressive story told in classic British filmmaking style, Possum isn't your average horror movie, and by extension really isn't a film for everyone. One look at the titular Possum, a strange amalgamation of a doll's head stuck in a permanent scream and eight hairy spider's legs makes that very, very clear. Ugh, horrid. Art house and reflective, but still bone-chillingly scary, Possum is a deep dive into one troubled man's attempt to reconcile his past with his present, returning to his childhood home and his decidedly disturbing stepfather, Morris, in the process. All we know is that Philip is a disgraced child's puppeteer, seemingly unable to rid himself of the monstrous puppet he carries with him in a simple leather bag, until Possum unravels completely and reveals the dark heart and creepy ass leg monster at the center of his story. It's a film that leaves you with that sick, lonely feeling, capturing the essence of nastiness and unease in stark visuals and a bloody horrid bag-dwelling beastie, pulling off a simplicity that most horror films struggle with. Possum is short, but it is definitely not sweet. 9. Suspiria it's rare that a remake will grace the movie halls of fame nowadays. When they're done well, some of them turn into the best entries into cinema imaginable, The Thing and The Fly included, and Suspiria has managed to carve a niche out for itself despite being born of an already iconic horror movie. That is an impressive feat. Truthfully, in Suspiria's case, it's impossible to debate whether 2018's entry is better than 1977's as they're different movies at their heart. This year has seen a dark and visceral take on the neon B-movie horror of Argento, updating the insidious dance school with much more brooding and heavy tones than its predecessor, but it still functions as a solidly imposing horror movie at its chewy nougat centre. Rife with cringe-inducing gore and a thumping, violent expression of bodies in motion, 2018 Suspiria knows what it wants to say, hard and feminine and patient in its presentation. Art house movies do lean on self-importance too much at times, but conveniently, Suspiria's setting lets it get away with it. 8. Ghost Stories Based on the stage play of the same name, Ghost Stories is Andy Nyman's foray into the film world with a collection of three classically spooky tales wrapped up in a caravan holiday package. Those of you that have actually been on caravan holidays in the UK can attest to this being an entirely terrifying concept. A skeptic paranormal investigator, Philip Goodman, is set the task of getting to the bottom of three unsolvable cases, experiencing demons, ghosts, and all manner of strange creatures as he attempts to work his rational mind around his experiences. Where Ghost Stories excels is in creating short, engaging narratives that show just enough without giving the game away, and then flipping everything on its head as the story comes to a close. Everything in Ghost Stories has more meaning than it first appears, making it either instantly rewatchable to pick up all the breadcrumbs or instantly satisfying if you can figure out what's going on. It is dark with a blackly humorous streak down the middle, and like any good campfire story, goes out with a head-scratching bang. 7. Revenge now, Revenge technically is the same story we've seen a thousand times before. I Spit on Your Grave, The Last House on the Left, Irreversible, they're all essentially one film, but Revenge does something markedly different with the washed-up trope. Of course, there's a woman, Jen, on holiday with her partner when two of his friends show up unexpectedly, resulting in a skin-crawling build-up of tension before she's assaulted and left for dead. The title tells it all here, really, as the rest of the narrative is her seeking vengeance on the three men that wronged her in three different ways. The attacker, the bystander, and the attempted murderer. 
What Revenge does so well is make short work of the actual attack. Where other directors make disgust the spectacle, Revenge is told through a woman's lens that doesn't dwell on the horror of assault, but instead lingers on male bodies, on Jen's will to live, and on a tenacity on overcoming three professional hunters in the unforgiving desert. It is the horror of her doing what it takes to get to the other side, rather than the horror of her being attacked. She is a phoenix that rises from the ashes and unapologetically tells a story with a woman's gaze from a female director. It's an exciting, engaging twist on a previously exploitative subgenre. 6. Upgrade Coming out somewhat quietly this year, Upgrade is the dark science fiction thriller that unarguably devolves into visceral psychological horror. It's on the brink of the genre, yes, but enough so that it still makes this list. Upgrade is based on a simple premise. A quadriplegic man has a computer chip installed to regain control of his body. Only, as he regains the use of his limbs, so does the AI attached to his new computer-paired brain. Dr. Otto Octavius, anyone? The now robotic Grey decides to seek revenge on those that caused his condition, who also murdered his wife in the process. Upgrade is quite simply one of the best films of the year, but also one of the most expertly executed and darkly imagined. There's violence that comes in exaggerated, cringe-inducing waves, and a disturbing undercurrent of organic meets synthetic that masquerades as beautiful and fluid whilst hiding a terrifying motive underneath. A techno horror that's like Blade Runner and the Terminator Terminator rolled into one gory mess of shotgun arms and rogue AI, it's a rare exception of a movie that's both beautiful and insanely entertaining. 5. Climax Gaspar No, the man behind some of cinema's most shocking film entries, doesn't disappoint with his most recent movie. Climax is the absolutely mental look at a group of dancers off their trolleys on LSD, which they unknowingly consume during one of their rehearsals since someone spiked the sangria. You don't mess with the sangria, guys, that's rule number one. Climax is a collective, hallucinogenic, psychedelic nightmare of very weird proportions, as well as essentially being a musical with its dance-driven core. As horrific as Climax steadily seems to be, it isn't Noah's most upsetting work, which is probably not that hard to say after a reversible hit screams. As much as the characters are tripping out of their control, the audience is too, making for something like a forced out-of-body experience as the soundtrack pounds through you. Weird isn't always wonderful, after all. 4. A Quiet Place One of this year's finest blockbuster releases, A Quiet Place sure made a lot of noise upon release. Directed by The Office's own John Krasinski, the film is the story of a near future where an invasion has rendered Earth silent, for fear of being discovered by roaming creatures hypersensitive to sound. Killing anything that makes noise, you can somewhat sympathise with these aliens if you've ever had that one neighbour that sounds like they're practising tap dance on your ceiling at 3am every morning, but it doesn't make them any less terrifying. Really though, A Quiet Place has one of the most spine-tingling sequences in a horror movie in recent memory, never mind just of this year. Year, with a harried Emily Blunt trapped in a bathtub trying to remain quiet despite some uh, agrarious circumstances. With outstanding character work, a believable, immersive environment, and some downright creepy looking monsters skulking the family's repurposed farm, A Quiet Place is a masterclass in tension. Just take a listen at how the whole movie approaches soundtrack and wallow in that horrible, tight feeling. 3. The Endless Another science fiction movie that approaches horror in its wider themes rather than honing in on a singular terrifying experience, The Endless is both a fantastic psychological experience as well as a truthful portrayal of family. After running away from a UFO death cult that older brother Justin was convinced were about to commit mass suicide, him and his sibling Aaron are poverty-stricken in regular society, working as cleaners to make ends meet despite ends not really meeting. When a videotape from the cult mysteriously shows up, Aaron pines to return to the one place he felt happy, and the pair reluctantly go back to their home from over a decade ago. The Endless doesn't really ramp up until over halfway in, reveling in an intensely Lovecraftian framework that underpins everything the brothers experience. It's a mystery that paradoxically becomes both clearer and more confusing as the story winds on, somewhere between coherence and the invitation in its creeping, tendril-like grasp on its audience before blowing right open as the end hits. It is an exceptionally tight indie film in either case, and deserves way more attention than it's currently received. 2. Annihilation 
It's about here that it feels like science fiction horror has really made a name for itself in 2018, with this being the third technological entry into this list that has more than earned its accolades over the past year. It feels like Annihilation came earlier than March, but this disturbing, beautiful, dark fantasy gem came burrowing up out of the underground and burst onto screens as a limited release in the early months of 2018. Following a group of scientists as they enter the Shimmer, a strange, oil slit like dome that's slowly growing and engulfing the Earth, our protagonists are tasked with learning about the environmental phenomenon despite everyone going in, not coming back out again. And we soon discover why as the narrative slowly rolls out. Annihilation's story is one where the rules of nature don't apply, and its mishmashed visuals coincide wonderfully with its pick-and-mix approach to genre work. Some claim it's boring or pretentious, but Annihilation at its heart is truly just one of those trippy experience movies as much as anything, and it makes you think, which isn't to be held against it. 1. Hereditary A24's best horror offering for 2018 is the one that sits comfortably ahead above the others, championing a marketing campaign that thoroughly fooled its audience into attending a movie that wasn't what was shown in its trailers. A ballsy move, that. When the Graham family matriarch passes away, Annie must outrun the secrets of her family that come boiling to the surface. To say much more would be give too much away, and if Hereditary does anything, it keeps its cards close to its chest for almost the entirety of the runtime, creating a film that was both original and unsettling without ever succumbing to cliché. Hereditary is a big, long movie, and an ambitious one at that, but its sense of character and downright weird lore is something to be applauded endlessly. It's simply a work of art. Yes, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but that's exactly what art is. Whether you love it or you hate it, Hereditary is unarguably masterfully put together, and will make you feel something to boot.